Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. If you're returning, thank you so much for your support. I'm so grateful. And if it's your first time on this channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate you checking my channel out. I do make natural hair videos and lots of DIYs. So if you're interested in this kind of content, be sure to click the subscribe button and become a member of the family. In today's video, guys, is another DIY. I'm going to show you an amazing hair growth oil that you can apply to your hair hair three times a week at least to get the best result this growth oil is definitely going to help you grow long healthy luscious looking hair okay so we're going to use um, some aloe vera uh, you guys know I love aloe vera and I pretty much use it in pretty much all of my DIYs just because yeah it's just so good aloe vera is great because it contains vitamin A C and E and these are vitamins that are known to contribute to cell turnover so basically it just helps uh, promote healthy cell growth and shiny hair also it has vitamin b12 and folic acid and these are contained in the gel and both of these components are actually really great at keeping your hair from falling out so aloe vera is just an amazing thing to have in your hair regimen so i'm starting here by just cutting some aloe vera into really small pieces and then i'll put that in a bowl uh, ready to add my other ingredient pretty much so i'm going to go in and add my coconut oil which is basically the one that i'm using here is organic raw coconut oil and again coconut oil is a great ingredient for your hair guys um because it has been shown to reduce protein loss and also keep your hair looking pretty healthy um, this is actually something that has been back, backed up by research so coconut oil is really great at promoting hair growth um, because you know our hair is made of a protein called keratin so if you're able to retain that protein in your hair it will keep your hair stronger so I'm just going here and applying um, not applying sort of putting I don't know exactly how much I used here. I think it was probably all together maybe like two tablespoons or maybe three tablespoons of coconut oil. Um, but you can put as much as uh, or as little as you like. Now I'm going in with my olive oil. Again, olive oil is another great um, oil for natural hair because it's you know high in vitamins that are there to promote hair growth. Um, and then I'm using my fenugreek seed here. This is basically a leftover fenugreek seed from my last um, fenugreek or DIY. Um, but if you haven't got this, you can actually buy the actual seed. I've got a link in my description box, or you can get you can actually get the flower. Is it no, not the flower, the powder, fenugreek powder. This will actually be better for this recipe. Um, in all honesty, I had the seed, but I just didn't want to you know waste time blending it again so i just use this one but if you got the powder definitely go ahead and do that so i put all of that in together and then i put it in a pot with hot water in it just to you know allow all those ingredients to sort of combine together and release the nutrients especially the aloe vera yeah guys this process can actually take a little bit of time to get done in all honesty um because you know it, it takes a bit of time for the aloe vera to reduce properly and all of that it took me about one hour but i prefer to do it this way just because i know i'm not going to oxidize any of the nutrients or the uh, of the uh the good new, new nutrients in all of this mixture so instead of cooking it just do it this way it's much better you know it's ready when basically the aloe vera has turned from a bright green color to a dark green color so once that's all done take that off from the fire and let it rest for a few minutes to allow it to cool down or you can use it immediately i wanted to use mine immediately guys because yeah i was just trying to do it as quickly as i could so i just went ahead and drained it uh, immediately um so like i said you can let it cool down if you want to so that's basically what it looks like it's really really watery once it just come off the fire and that's okay it's because of the coconut oil that you got in it so you haven't done anything wrong if yours turns out this way you will see what it looks like at the end so i did have some 
uh, fenugreek stuff left at the bottom of my bowl and I didn't like that so I just decided to transfer what I had in, in that bowl back into another bowl so I could get rid of the fenugreek at the bottom so that's pretty much it there guys now I'm going to go ahead and add some essential oils I'm using peppermint essential oil here um, I added about seven to eight drops of uh, of peppermint oil it wasn't really coming out this way so i just had to like shake the bottle a little bit to allow it to come out i've got a link in my description box for pretty much everything that i used in this video so in case you want to get your hands on them just make sure you check my description box and yeah and then you can you can grab it from amazon so i'm now going to go in with my tea tree essential oil so again i added about seven to eight drops of this you can add as much or as little as you want it just depends on you to be honest so do as much as you want basically based on your preference so i did that and yeah then the last ingredient that we're going to go in with would be some castor oil now castor oil is actually amazing guys i'm using jamaican black castor oil here now castor can actually get you to have thicker hair now from what i'm reading off google it says that castor oil helps make the roots stronger and prevents hair fall it has the ability to trigger and stimulate hair growth from dormant follicles and then it says one can apply castor oil once a week mixed with methai or fenugreek seed powder or use it as a hair mask along with steam for best results so basically castor oil is really great at you know promoting hair growth so once i've done that i pop that all in together and then you know stir it a little bit just to combine it all is i prefer that you do it this way because once this whole thing has cooled down the um coconut oil would have will become kind of hard so you won't be able to combine your other ingredients really well so it's probably better you do it when it's a bit you know when it has cool cooled off but it's not like cold so i'll just show you guys here just basically the pop you know left behind from this whole thing i'm not going to throw that away i'll use it for another diy so this is basically what the oil looks like um it's still a little bit warm here that's why it's it's kind of liquid now once it has cooled down it looks hard okay like just like you can see here it looks like a butter but really really nice you know um i'll show you how i apply this to my hair as well in a little bit so yeah it that can really store really really well in your house if you just put a lid on it um so that's pretty much it guys i'm ready to apply that to my hair i thought i would just put this little clip in here just so i can show you how i usually apply my growth oil just in case you want to perhaps you know uh, replicate it so i'm just going here with my fenugreek spray i'm just spraying that to my hair first you can use water for this you can use aloe vera juice you can use whatever that you want uh, just to give your hair a little bit of moisture before now I'm going in with your oil to actually seal in that moisture so i'm concentrating a lot more on my scalp here guys because you know this is a high growth kind of thing our hair grows from our scalp so it's better that if you are going to do anything for hair growth that you start from your scalp obviously it's also important that you moisturize the rest of your hair which you can certainly go ahead and moisturize that too but this is not a moisturizing routine i'm just kind of showing you how to apply this to your hair so i'm focusing on my edges here as well because we're still trying to regrow them guys it has done so much better from what it used to be like but it's still not where i want it to be so yeah that's pretty much it once i've sprayed that to my hair i'm now ready to go in with my um hair growth oil or butter however you want to call it so i'm just taking a small amount here I usually do this gradually okay so i um, will probably end up using more later on so i'm just going there applying that to my scalp you know and massaging that in scar massages are great as well at promoting high growth getting thicker hair because when you massage your scalp you're increasing the blood flow to that area and that nourishes your follicles so much better and you know and as a result you can certainly grow thicker hair or longer hair in the long run so you know as i'm going in with the oil i'm massaging as well just to you know help you know 
achieve all of those things that i just mentioned so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up as always subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed for some more amazing diy videos and basically tips on how to grow your hair share with your friends share with your family you know anybody that you know let us grow this little family i'm so grateful anyways that you know we've got to this stage so far but i believe that we can you know grow even more so please feel free to share my videos to anyone that you know and i will catch you in my next video which will be very very soon also don't forget to leave a comment okay leave a comment if you have any questions or anything that wasn't clear in this video i'm very happy to answer them in the comment section so i'll catch you guys in my next video do take care bye